Hello, my name's Lily and I'm here to introduce our two candidates to be our next president of the Animal Rights Committee. We have Jeremy Rifkin, the economist, and Victoria Braithwaite, the behavior biologist. Who is more qualified and will take the chair? It's up to your vote. Let's hear from both our candidates. As the author of 20 books on technological changes in the economy and president of the Foundation on Economic Trends in Washington, D.C., I think animals really have feelings. Did you know elephants can experience grief? Well, they do. Elephants often stand next to their dead kin for days and test their bodies with their trunks. As we roll into the 21st century, we need to promote a new radical sharing economy that is transforming the way we manage power and move economic life. Oh my, I'm so sorry. I'm used to doing speeches about economics. <clears throat> Studies show that brain chemistry of rats release large amounts of dopamine associated with pleasure and excitement in humans. So basically, we are very similar to rats and have the same feelings. With all of my knowledge about animals, I will be perfect for this job. Hello everyone, my name is Victoria Braithwaite and I am a behavioral biologist at Edinburgh University. I have done many experiments and have found that when looking at thin sections of a fish trigeminal nerve, they have the same two types of nociceptors as we humans do. Have the necessary sensory wiring to detect pain. To further investigate this theory, we held an experiment where we injected diluted vinegar under the gill of a child and found that the fish later began beating their gills, rubbed the affected areas on the wall and lost their appetite. We later injected them with painkillers and saw a remarkable result. They began acting normal. This experiment proved that fish reacted in a normal way as humans would. I am determined to use my research to help avoid this unnecessary pain these animals experience and stop cruel things like recreational fishing. Now that we have heard from both candidates, it's your job to go out and vote. Do you really want an economist to be the president of animal rights? Or do you want an experienced behavioral biologist? Make the right choice and choose Braithwaite to help regulate.